What's up, guys? So we got a special guest today, Maha. She's no. making a nice uh, little appearance. She's giving us some rep and uh, you know helping us advertise some of our videos, get the word out a little bit. So give her some love, guys, in the comments. But anyway, so today we are gonna have a little adventure and try to paint my calipers. I was doing some exploring and we're looking into you know caliper caps and obviously different kind of brake kits and things like that. And it's just so damn expensive. So what we're actually going to do today, we've got some aggressive degreaser. We're going to make sure that we clean off all the calipers. I think we're actually going to fully remove the calipers while we're at it. Stop giving me that look. Then after we get everything clean, uh, we're going to take the calipers completely off the car. Then we're going to give it a nice coat of primer. We're going to go from there and we're going to paint them yellow. This is going to look sweet, I hope. Um, it, it will look cool. Um, we're gonna go yellow, and then depending on how that matte dry, you know, kind of looks after that, we got a nice little thing of uh, gloss clear coat. Um, might not even need it. We'll we'll kind of go, you know, go as we as we see it and go from there. But yeah, keep you updated. Yeah, baby, girl, you're so damn fine. Don't wanna know if I can hit it from behind. Don't. I'm sipping on you like some fun wine dough. When it's over, I press for wine dough. Talking bands, I got it. All right, what's up, guys? So we were actually thinking about taking off the calipers to start with, um, but taking kind of a closer look at it, it's going to be a pain. Um, we're going to try at least one rotor first without taking it off, and then we're going to go ahead um, and see how that goes. If it proves to be you know, pretty difficult um, to paint it with... With the rotor still on, or sorry, the caliper still on the rotor, okay, we'll end up taking them off. But for now, we're gonna give it a try um, and see how it goes. I'm using the VHT Caliper Cleaner Aggressive Degreaser. We're gonna go ahead and spray that a little bit and see what we can get off of these uh, calipers. I think it just, that's all. I think that's literally all it is, because it's like pressured. It's going to be, yeah, it, I would back up and or put a mask on or something, because it's going to be. I don't see anything. I can do it. All right, so we got our half ass tape job done here. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw a couple coats of primer on it first to start, and then we're going to go ahead and throw the yellow on it, see how it looks. Okay. Hard enough? What? What are you doing? I do? Mm hmm. Getting a primer primed and ready. Oh, the boy. So, how many coats of primer are we gonna, are we gonna do? Let's we'll start with two. See what it looks like. Okay. If it looks decent, go from there. Uh, otherwise, maybe three ish. I think two coats should be pretty good as a base. I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I think two should be pretty solid. So what we did, we just got a garbage bag, and then we just basically covered up the caliper, cover up the rear uh, fender and the front fender liner, and then that one we just and then put the cardboard, of course, because we don't want to stain that. And then after that, we should be good. We don't really care about the little control arm. That'll be fine if it has get some paint on it. Seventeen shots, no thirty-eight. Yeah, I got the Glock in my Robbie. Seventeen shots, no thirty-eight. Yeah, she's fine. Wondering where she be mine. Walk past, I press rewind. See that ass one more time. And I got this soda. All right, guys. So this is pretty much one coat done. Took me about thirty seconds to do. Uh, it just gobbles that paint up and looks great already. So probably throw one more coat on that and then we'll go from there with the yellow. Primer already makes it look cool, so let's do it. Dennis. What are you doing? I'm bagging, not suspension bagging, but I'm bagging up the calipers so we can <laughs> paint it. Update! Alright guys, 
We've got one more coat of primer on the driver uh, rear side. Other than that, all the other calipers are now painted with two coats of primer and they look great. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna start, this is nerve wracking, but uh, we're gonna do it, no turning back. Oh, all right guys, let's do it. Damn, that's bright. That is really bright. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I really don't know how it turned out. Uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Take a look. I think it looks what it looks like fucking awesome right now. We're going to have to take a look, obviously, when we get everything back on. But as of right now, I think it just pops. And I think it's going to look fantastic when we get everything back on. Um, hopefully in the near future we get the rest of the car wrapped in the gray. But I think this is a pretty damn good start. Um, as for like what we actually did, we did, I think, just two coats of the primer. Um, that pretty much took care of a good solid base and then when we went from there um, the actual coat of paint I think we did like three plus a little bit more on the front uh, three to four on the front but like two to three on the rear um, there's a lot more caliper in the in the actual front uh, but overall it looks really clean and now we're gonna leave everything fully dry for another 20-30 minutes um, once that's finished up we're gonna try to see what um, what a gloss coat looks like over it um, but yeah probably just one coat of gloss you don't really need much on top of everything but yeah that's that's pretty much all we did took us about hour hour and a half total maybe two hours and about 30 bucks in paint awesome we're done Woo uh, no seriously we are done um, we had to be so careful putting those tires back on <laughs> uh, that was that was tricky thanks thanks for all the help Putting the tires back on, guys. I love you. No, seriously, it was the Mahul and uh, Dennis helped us or helped me out tremendously in wrapping, painting everything. We got everything on, and it looks. I like it. I like it. I think it's fantastic. So we actually got this done in like two hours. Yeah, in a lot in a better time frame that we were actually thinking. We were thinking that we would have to take all the calipers, clean it, Ugh. and then wait for it to dry, and then clean it again, and then prime it, dry, paint it, dry, clear coat, dry. Nah. But <laughs> we actually just ended up wrapping the entire in, uh, inner fender liner and covering up the actual rotors, and then painted, painted it, just went layer by layer, and it looks it looks sleek. But keep in mind, we did do it properly. We did do primer, and then we did paint, and then we added one clear coat on yep. it to give it a last a little final finalization touch, and we put the wheels on. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna drop the car, and we're just gonna keep it outside, let it sit for a little bit for about an hour. Uh, it's said to let it dry for an hour, so that way it it takes an hour to dry to touch. Mm -hmm. um, that way it'd be nice and good to drive afterwards. Yeah, it takes about a full week for everything to cure. Um, I mean, it's not going to make a difference after an hour for us. You know, they're on. I have to drive, so yeah. it is what it is. But should be all good, guys. Awesome. Looks pretty good. I like the way you working on. About to bag it up. I like the way you working. And I got this so. Oh. We'll wash it. Oh. 
<laughs> we can have that shots later in the you know like in the editing. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Oh, whatever. That's fine. <laughs>